Hello, and welcome to Wheels Wheels. I should be out filming a car show or something today. I know there's something going down there at, at uh, the Kemper Arena, but I, uh, I've got this problem, and this is my problem. See, my problem is if my car don't shine, it ain't mine. I've got this real problem with detailing cars. Now, for those of us that live in the Midwest environment, with all the salt, God, they put enough salt on the roads to choke a horse around here. And this car hasn't been washed in probably three weeks. So I have got to get this salt off of it. And what I'm really curious about is to see how well the ceramic coating I put on it last spring is holding up. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the interior on the car. Because to be honest with you, once I get the detail on the outside of the car, I may get too tired to do the inside. So we're going to start off with the inside. Okay, so when I detail the interior of a car, I like to start, work my way from the top to the bottom. So the first thing we'll do is get all the dust and stuff off the dash, the infotainment system, cup holders, that type of stuff. Then I'll come back and I'll wash the windows and then work down to my leather seats and finally down to the carpets. This is where a lot of cars get confusing. Just don't let this bother you. But on the Alpha, on this model, we have like a plastic rubberized top with a little padding on it. The same thing here in the middle. We have a leather strip that goes for your armrest and then a hard plastic thing down here. So what I'll do is I'll just take armor all for these areas and the areas of the dash. Then I'll take a leather cleaner, a mild one, and put it along here. And a lot of people may not know this, but leather today has a top coat. Almost think of it like a clear coat for your leather. So you really don't need to condition it, just clean it. If you just put leather conditioner on these type of seats, and this is with all types of leather now, it's not going anywhere. It's just gonna sit on top of that top coat. So really, it's gonna sit there until you get in the car and wipe it off with the seat of your pants or the back of your shirt. So let's get started. I like to get a rag, heavily doused in the summer uh, off, and just simply work it in to the areas. And the plastics. And then what I do is go back with a dry microfiber, take off all the smudges that in the high spots. And it was behind. It kind of dulls it out and doesn't make that shiny. And remember, we're just cleaning this. We're not conditioning it.
Okay, top tip when cleaning the windshield. Set in the passenger seat. That way you can reach all the way across the windshield. Or at least the majority of it. Small little car like this. Don't have any problems whatsoever getting all the way across. Now I will admit, cleaning glass is my least favorite thing to do. Okay, that's the inside clean. Pretty satisfied with that. So, let me get this car pulled out of here and in the sunlight and you'll see how filthy it really is. I hope my garden hose is unthawed by now. Okay, this car is proper nasty. Not even proper nasty. Covered in salt, muck, and grime. All right, we are going to pressure wash the car off. Then we'll run across it with a snow foam cannon. And then I'll go in for a contact wash. So it's going to be a lot of steps, a lot of stuff to do. So sit back, relax, and check it out. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do to the old Alpha is clean the undercarriage. So I've got this Ralby water broom and undercarriage cleaner. It cleans the path about 11 inches across. It's got two piston pivots. So you can, you can actually use this thing to water broom your driveway or sweep your driveway or clean the undercarriage of your vehicle. And it has three high pressure nozzles. We'll take it out of the box. It's very simple. Just hook it up to your pressure washer. This is your two position nozzle. I can hold it. You leave it straight if you wanted to broom your driveway off or turn it back to this setting. Just spray underneath the car. So, give me just a couple seconds, I'll get it hooked up, and we'll show you how it works. Alright, this is where I'll be undercarriage cleaner. Hook it to the pressure washer, as you can see here. Got an extension wand, and three nozzles at the bottom, and you just simply pull the trigger. Brings out water. So, it'll reach about halfway under the car, so we'll do one side, and then go around and do the other.
Now you're probably thinking, Will, why are you doing a foam cannon on your car? Well, a couple reasons. One, is all this frothy goodness goes down the side of the car. It's also helping to bring all that gritty sand, salt, and everything off. So when I go in for them for a contact wash, there's less chance of me marring the paint and putting swirl marks in it. First thing I like to do is take our Eagle One black and plastic coat remover. Coat the tire with the coat the inside of the barrel. Brake caliper and the outside of the wheel. Let that dwell for just a bit. It's going to be hard to see against these uh, charcoal gray wheels, but if you look back at the brake caliper here, you can see the, the uh, rust particles running off the brake rotor. And that is essentially the same thing that's happening back in the barrel of the wheel and on the outside of the wheel. So we can get all that stuff off. can actually see it running behind the tire there now. So this stuff is an effective iron remover and it's relatively cheap. Pick it up at AutoZone, O'Reilly's, pretty much anywhere. One word of caution, if you've never used one of these iron removers before, they uh, have a strong sulfur smell. They really, they really stink. I'm going to wash it off. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with a a wool 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 woolly start at the top get the inside of the barrel clean you know my neighbors think I'm absolutely nuts because I detail my cars this level now here Top tip, don't stick this back in the wash bucket prior to rinsing it out. So rinse it out first, then stick it in the wash bucket.
Right. Got a little McGuire's hot shot here. Some people like stuff like this, some people don't. I happen to like it. Ooh. You see that gloss? Oh crap. You see it? Look at that mirror light. Good stuff right here. Good stuff. You know, it's really windy outside, so I'm going to close this video out before I take a walk around in the car. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I've literally spent four hours today detailing the car. So I'm going to walk out there and show you the results.